my friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ellie Lee and this is Ellie Lee Designs where I bring you DIY projects every week to help inspire you to try a new project or even just to learn something new that you may not have tried in a similar project. Today's project came very much from a necessity or a want, uh, maybe even a desire for my craft room. I wanted to have a cork board for my craft room but I really wanted to make it functional. So I kind of put together a bunch of little things that I already had I didn't want to go out and buy a bunch of new things so I'm really hoping that you like this project and that maybe you can make something similar to make it very functional in your craft space and don't forget to take a look at the description box below where I've listed all of the items that I've used in today's tutorial what are we waiting for let's get started so the first thing I did is I grabbed some bare chalk paint in color white and I painted the entire 30 inch by 22 inch wooden sign that I had purchased at Hobby Lobby. Then I measured out the inside area of my wooden frame to measure out exactly where I was going to be applying my adhesive cork. An adhesive cork that I used is from the Crafter Square, the Dollar Tree, and it is an 11.75 by 7.75 adhesive piece of cork. Since I wasn't using a full sheet of adhesive cork, I realized that I was going to be left with crease lines uh, throughout the actual um, corked area. So I was already thinking in my head of different ideas that I can do or come up with in order to hide them and at the same time add a decorative element of some sort to the piece. So this next part of the project, I was really excited and looking forward to because I was going to be able to use some painter's tape and my paint in order to recreate a design that I had seen online. And I shouldn't say recreate, I was really just very much inspired by it and just creating my own version of that design. The paint that I used on the cork board was the same chalk paint that I used on the actual wood sign. So it was really fast drying and that was also helpful in this process as I didn't have to leave it overnight or anything. And just a helpful tip, when you are painting, you wanna make sure that you are blotting down directly onto the cork or the area that you're painting. You don't wanna move in a back and forth brush movement because you can risk getting paint underneath the tape and then it's gonna be very smudgy. So if you're looking for clean lines, you just wanna make sure that you're blotting down onto the area that you're wanting to paint. And once the paint did dry, I was able to take off the painter's tape and continue on to the next step in the project. Next, I took some jute twine and wrapped it around the wooden skewers that I had and used that as a way to create a framework around the cork area of my frame and also to create a little border where the two pieces of the adhesive cork met to cover the line but also add that decorative element that I was looking for. This was also great because it was going to add some dividers on my cork board, which would be useful to me later when I'm actually using the cork board. So in this next step, I focused on the functionality of the cork board and I needed to come up with some little holders, if you will, that could hold some cups that I wanted to put on the cork board for me to use with my pens and my Cricut markers. So I used these wooden craft cubes that I found at the dollar store in the crafter square section. And I painted them with a the white chalk paint so that they would match the rest of the board. 
if you remember at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that in this project, I was going to use things that I already had at home. And I had these black cups that I purchased as part of this little wall hanging shelf that um, I purchased at Joann's. And I didn't want the cups to be black because I felt it would be too harsh of a contrast. So I painted them in the metallic silver that I had actually used in a prior project when I did the concrete planter. So they wouldn't necessarily be white, but they would still be light enough and have a little bit of a contrast on the cork board that I was making. And now I do realize that that will leave me short some cups for the hanging shelf when I do go to use it, but I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to come up with something else that I can do to make up for it then. So in this next section, I needed to paint the little cup holder loops that I created out of basswood. All you have to do is click on the link that I've left in the description box below, and you'll be redirected to Cricut Design Space, where you'll just click Make It, and then you're gonna be brought to the area where you'll see your cutting mat. And here you want to adjust the rings and have three different mats because your sheets are not large enough to cover four of them in one cutting mat. So in order to do that, you'll just click on the image. You'll see the three little uh, dots here, click on that and you'll select move object and then create new. You can select any color, I'll just stick with current color and then hit confirm. And if you look over to the left, that just created a brand new map for you. So we'll go back to the first map on that, click on this bottom ring here and then repeat that same step, move the object and we'll just select the third map that we created and hit confirm. So now we've got our three mats. The next thing we want to do is go back to map three, which actually we're on here and then bring those those two objects to the top because we're going to align the basswood up on the top here. So now we've got the three mats and we're ready to go. We'll just click continue on the lower right and then we'll need to go to browse all materials and in the search box enter basswood and we'll select this first one here at the top click done and now that we've selected our material it's telling us here that we need to use the knife blade so if for whatever reason you do attempt to cut your basswood with your regular blade that's in there it's okay Cricut is actually going to notify you that you need to change your blade and this is just an example of the screen that you will get if you don't change your blade and once you do change the blade all you have to do is again hit the little Cricut C and it'll go ahead and cut your material. Now here to switch out the blade, all you have to do is open the little lever, remove your existing blade that you're using, pop in the one that you'll need to use, close the lever, and then you're all set to go. Now you can go ahead and click on the Cricut symbol and it'll go ahead and start cutting your basswood but you wanna make sure that when you're here, you do go ahead and just take this opportunity to switch out your blades. We're almost there, my friends. So now after painting the cup holder loops, I've applied them to the wooden blocks or the wooden cubes that I used to create little supports for the cups on my cork board. I did a quick test just to make sure that everything fit in place. And our last step is creating labels for the cups and we're all done. Fun fact guys, the squeegee tool actually served a dual purpose and that's that it held my cup in place for me to align my transfer tape. I thought that was awesome and wanted to make sure that I shared that. So that's it, that is the end of this project. I really hope that you liked it. It was really quite easy to make. It took me a little longer than I expected it to, but it was really fun to make it. And I hope that you enjoy making the same or something similar for your craft space. I look forward to receiving your comments below. Please let me know what you think. I really, really appreciate your feedback because it helps me bring you the content that you want to see. And don't forget to subscribe. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my weekly videos. And I just wanna give a special thank you to my subscribers. I thank you so, so much for your support and to my new subscribers. Thank you for watching, for being here and I will see you all next time. <laughs> Bye.